Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live with me Owain, me Alison, and me Daniel. Hello everyone and welcome. Hello everyone, <laughs> it's Tonic Live with me Owain, me Alison, and me Daniel. There he is. Hello everyone, hope you're good. We were just saying we were quite much. We're a bit coordinated today. Like, oh, yeah, you're top size. Right? Yeah, we are. Dan's in a full white suit back there, yeah. anyway. I look like um, Elvis. Dickie Bell. Elvis yeah. Presley. I look like, uh, no, it's just the Birth of Jurassic Park. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What's that program used to be on Terry? Randall and Hopkirk. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. He always had the full white suit. Was he like Randall and Hopkirk deceased that that yes. program? But yeah. was it was he dead in the original? Was it was there an I original was Randall? The, oh, that yeah, is okay. I think that, was, yeah. oh, that makes sense. That's the only one I remember. Anyway. Uh, hello, everyone. Hope you enjoyed your. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the shows with Jody showing off the the tiny tones. I know they've been going fast. They probably told you uh, on there how quickly they've been going. Um, but I got yeah, lovely people with us already joining us. Uh, it's Tonic Live. If you haven't joined us before, it's a live demo. We do a midweek. We do one at Monday at four pm, a Wednesday at four pm, and then we do a Friday at four pm. Usually the Wednesday one is like the the folks on a new product, something that we're uh, super excited about. But we did something like that on Monday as well with the Mister. So if you did catch that. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing on Friday. We just have a bit of fun. So everyone's joined us. Everyone's loving your top, Al. Oh, um, thank you very much. They, they're <laughs> big fans of that. Uh, we got, yeah, lo uh, lots and lots of lovely people on here. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk to you a little bit about what we got going on there today. So you've all been watching the Tiny Tones. So the plan was maybe to do some Tiny Tones on the show today. But because they're out so fast and they may not even be there by the time yeah. we finish this show, we thought we'd go a different direction and... We've worked with Crate and Craft to put some other items on and, and we're going to show you them off. So, yeah, what have we got available now? Well, today I am going to show you the Pretty Pillow Purse. This is a die that's available on its own and it's on Crate and Craft at the moment. So, if you log into Crate and Craft, you'll be able to put this number in there. Yep. What's the number? 487 554. <laughs> 487 554. <laughs> so that's 487 four. You'll see that number bouncing across the bottom of your screen. Um, and that, that, if you enter that on uh, on Creating Craft, uh, you'll find that big die. So that's 487 554. This die will work with the magazine die, although saying that it works exclusively on its own as well. It doesn't have to go with a magazine die. But if you wanted to, it would just give you a few more options. So there's another bundle on there available, which is your magazine. And I don't have prices. That's the only thing I don't have. Your magazine is available on there with the extra die. And there's a number for that. That's 487-552. That's the magazine and the extra die for you. Two. <laughs> 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 and if you haven't seen the magazine we'll show you i'll give you a brief little sneaky peek as to what's in it um magazine is still available in shops as well in yeah supermarkets. yeah in supermarkets you'll be able to pick it up so you get your papers lots of decorative papers your die to go with this magazine is a little pillow box but this is a smaller pillow box than I'm going to show you today. And then you get your embossing folder and you also get your stamps to go with it. And obviously it wouldn't be a tonic magazine without your inspiration. So there are 81, um, 81 designs. My, do you know my brain is going terrible? I think I'm getting old. 81, like, yeah, 81 makes inspiration designs, whatever you want to call With them. this dice, with the, all the set that you've got in the box. So plenty of inspiration there. Um, I'm going to leave that up there for a sec. There we go. All right, so we pop them up there. And we'll show you what I'm going to... Oh, there is another magazine available as well. Yeah, it was, it was number eight. So that was so the older magazine. didn't get that one and you think you've missed out, then you can pick up that one as well. Yeah, and that, that's got a number. Yeah, 470780. <laughs> That's the old magazine, don't you know? There you go. So, 
<laughs> that hasn't oh, stuck in your Lord head. Oh, right? Lord, um, Yeah, everyone's here on my um, voice and singing career. Not if my jingle career, yeah. I'd love to do vo- I'd love to do voiceovers and jingles like that. Oh, my word, you wouldn't get me singing anything. <laughs> not at all. I not even do, a I want to do it for those local radio ones, the ones that are really annoying ones for your car. <laughs> your car. And, yeah. You know, going, it's bridge and cars. Oh, yeah. The wound. Like some, oh, Nolan Skips used to be the one oh. that got me. Yeah. It's like, oh, Ken Thorne World of Cars. That's one, like a local one. There's loads of them. You're going to get a new car from Ken Thorne World of Cars. <laughs> you know, it got like... <laughs> you've all got one you've all got your local one i'm sure that. i'm sure they're all the same one i'm sure well. they are right so what are we going to do anyway this is our little box so it opens at the top so you can pop all your goodies in there i think this looks a lovely little box you know for cookies or homemade sweets or something along those lines that's what i was thinking with this but again you can even roll up a pair of socks you know, you've got yeah, men in your nice life. Size. They'll always appreciate a pair of socks because they can never find a pair. That's it. Like get them some nice, like not not too jazzy socks. Like not you don't like don't get them <coughs> Simpson socks, something like that. Get them like some classy, different colour ones. And then it's a little tip for right, there because I or get me that because that's what <laughs> I like. <laughs> oh dear me! Right then, so where do we start? Let's make a start. Is that? So this is your shape die <coughs> that's going to make the box. So I've cut two of those out of black. So there's me two. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold all the score lines. And I have my precision glide tool to do this because the one thing that impresses me with this more than anything is the fact that I can run over black card and not have a mark. And that, I think, is such a big bonus for this tool. It's a really smooth <coughs> tool. You know when you're gluing and you, you want to get that better adherence with your glue? Then I run over it with this as well. Now, you have a, a bended, bended, what am I talking about today? Curved line. Put your finger underneath the line and then just push. And your line will bend with your finger. And that is your base of your box. There we are. So there's your little box all folded. And your last one then, again, this is a curved line. So put your finger underneath and then just push against it. And that is one side of your box. So do the same with the other. But then I'm going to do a little bit of die cutting into the box. Because I wanted to see what was in there. So whether it's going to be sweets that you're putting in there. Um, as I say, even a pair of socks. A lovely little baby gift even. I've decorated this one quite manly, I think. Um, or even teenage boy. Because I know you always say to me, it's so hard to do anything for men. And I wanted to show you that it's not. I say it's a little, yeah, it's a nice sturdy even its shape is not specifically feminine it's just a nice sturdy box it is. you know and you've got a lot of space uh space in there and uh yeah and i get some people saying nothing nothing wrong with fuzzy socks i don't get me wrong don't like it was taken out of context if that's what you're saying and get wrong it's just super novelty socks i'm not that keen on it's a personal preference i just when i'm going into a business meeting i like you know a colored sock like um like john snow on the channel 4 news Right. He's got quite jazzy socks, but they're they're like block colours or they're like or they're colors. tastefully Yeah. Okay, I remember that. Should I ever Secret Santa this year? That's yeah, what I'm thinking. Me. That's <laughs> what I'm thinking. We know what to get. So I'm gonna pop my pattern die at the bottom of the box. So there's my fold line and my die is going just above it. And then we're gonna run this through our tangerine. Uh, people are asking if it's going to be available on the tonic side, this larger die. Uh, only available on Crate and Craft for the time being, uh, as far as I'm aware. Um, it's, it's still exclusive. Yeah, so like the magazine, with, the way we work with Crate and Craft is when we do a launch there, a die launch specifically, uh, they have 30 days exclusivity. So it's on there for 30 days, and 30 days after then, the product, if it's in stock and we have it available, it'll be available on 
the UK, it's a UK site then for you to buy or US site if you've got it over there as well. So it's just that 30 day period. So this year will be available on Create Crafts. It's not available on the, on the tonic shop in the, at the moment. I'm just going to run it through again. It's missed cutting a little bit in the middle. And I think I know what it was. It's because I placed it right in the middle of my plate. So I'm just going to run that through again. Jolie loving your top too. It's really, your top has been the star of the show. <laughs> is, that is that available on Creating Craft? I don't I'm know. I'm afraid not. It's, an, it's I, not? It's one I had in Tesco's last year. All made of paper as well, isn't it? Of course. Of course. So there we go. There's our die. Or die cut, should I say. All done and dusted. So I'm just going to pop these little bits out. So what's my next bit now? My next bit, I'm going to put some acetate at the back of this. So the easiest way I have found, I've cut, I've instead of using the small pattern die, I've used the big pattern die, uh, the big plain die. And the reason I've done that is because it gives me more adherence to the back of this box. Because if I've only got a fine line of adhesive and something presses on it, there's more chance of it popping inside the box. Where if I can glue up here, then I know it's definitely stuck in place. Acetate generally doesn't cut right the way through with our dyes. This is your thicker acetate. This is more your construction weight acetate. So it gives me an indent. And that's all I'm going to do then is just run around it with the scissors. Because I know then my pattern is there. And it guides you the indent. It does guide, yeah, definitely. I wouldn't be cutting it this fast if I didn't have an indent. <laughs> didn't have it there. Um, yeah, people like loving it, saying it's a lovely set uh, on there. Yeah, uh, and Chance says, yeah, love the tonic of so many gender, gender neutral dyes. How many flowers and butterflies does an experienced crafter really need? Well, yeah, it's, that's it. We try and keep the, the where we can gender neutral and the patterns and the inserts that we put in there, they want to give you that option, you know, this day, because you will see, you know, we have done florals and butterflies before. But, it, but, but, but then we'll have also, you know, your bold, more geometric designs and things like that. So you take it the direction, as we always say, take it direction. A lot of our boxes, we try and give a female version and a male version, which is what you've got in this one. You've got the flowers, which are very, very girly. But then you've also got the geometrics, which take it very masculine, if you want it to be. It could be that you still want it to be very, very girly but still use the geometrics. So I've got a three millimeter red line tape that I'm running around the bottom of the shape. So I'm gonna take that around the bottom and around the top. Um, we said, um, Divinely uh, Creations by uh, Marlena says, can you subscribe to the magazine? In the UK, you can, yeah. I think that Craft Stash, I think they, they offer a subscription for the magazine. It's the tonic card making collection. So we do it every quarter. It comes out and it's filled with loads of your favorite designers, Jody, Ali, uh, loads from the design team as well. They're all in there. And uh, and yet you get a, um, like with it then, you'll get a die and you get an embossing folder and you get some stamps and that's in the core package. We have then a special offer we put on Creative Craft, which has an extra die. And on this occasion then we had a larger design, which the, guy, the guys in the office had done. Uh, and we thought, oh, we'll, we'll put that on there too to see if, you know, see if you guys would enjoy it. And that's what we've seen here today. So this larger, larger die, uh, it'll be available on our website, you know, before long as well, uh, there as well. But yeah, it's that, that's the magazine. You can't subscribe direct from Tonic, but yeah, you can at uh, outlets out there. And you can get it from Create Craft. We let you know ahead of time anyway when it's coming up. So. We do. We do. <coughs> and we're actually working. On the next one yeah oh it doesn't it stop. never stops it, doesn't it stop, never no. stops so, yeah, there's well, always something going on that's it you know your suggestions and things like that you, you know you, we get go through them cam uh get some sent to them now as well so if you have any suggestions of things you'd like to see in future mags like themes and things like that because we all try and build it around semi a theme nothing that's going to hold you too tight to to anything but uh but we you know christmas and festive we've done and things like that throughout the year. So if you do see anything that um, you think, oh, I'd like to see that as a theme for the mag or a kit, let us know. Email support at tonic-studios.com. There we are. So I'm just using 
the precision feeder <coughs> just to make sure everything is stuck down. There we are. The reason I did these, some of it on the cardstock and some of it on the acetate, was because I wasn't sure exactly where the acetate was going to stop, top and bottom. I knew where the middle was and I wanted it to join there. And I knew where the sides were. So that's the reason I've done it in different parts. Just for you to think, why is she doing it all separate? So, next bit. Bit of glue. And I'm going to turn these over. And we're going to glue them together along that fold. So Sharon's asking, when is the next unboxing day? That'll be next Wednesday. Uh, so next Wednesday we'll be unboxing mm -hmm. kit number 25. Uh, yeah, super excited about it. We got lots. We got some super exciting stuff happening lots next week as well. Loads stuff, and loads and loads of new stuff. So, um, yeah, keep your fingers on the pulse next week. Um, Tune in every day next week. And that pulse can be found on the Tonic Studios pages, uh, the blog. Uh, you know, Ali's pages. Everyone's like, we got loads going on with the kit and something exciting towards on Friday as well. So, yeah, lots to look forward to. Gone over a bit too far. Make sure you just go up to your fold line and not over it as I did then. But always check, give it a little bit of a fold just to make sure you are in the right place. There we are. Yeah, we're right. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to see on black and with the lights here. But there we go. So I'm just going to leave those just to glue together for a second. Now I've cut a piece to go in the back because I thought, well, when you see it through the back, it looks a little bit dark and it looks just a little bit too black for me. So I've used our marigold yellow and this is our Craft Perfect card. Again, I've used the same bigger die, bigger edging die, if I can get it off there, to cut this. And this is going to glue right in the back there. And it'll glue over the fold. Uh, Tracy and Margaret are watching us on the big t TV on YouTube. Hello! It's great. You can hear us, me sniffing on the big TV. Now. That's, that's oh, good. See, that's he good. don't keep his germs to himself at all. I got, you got, yeah, it's difficult to stay off for a long period. It's tonic. If you go, go off. Your desk is just swamped. Yeah, it's swamped and everything back. is moved. Like, just... The stuff that we're working on it's like the next things happen um hi from jan in ravello the post has been um with my craft kit one from the vault my that was quick wow, wow. You, you were the you were the one because i think there was only one left um yeah I would. thank you so much everyone who purchased it and went to the vault and and managed to grab you know, the, the the kits that you wanted that were there that was like all we had there. So they're going to remain available. They'll be the last ones available of that set of the vaults. So we're going to do the next vault then in probably about six months' time when we'll open it up again with what we have. Uh, but yeah, they you know get it while you can whilst there. But thank you so much, everyone who's purchased and just supported the kit this far because, uh, yeah, you guys make it, really. Definitely. Okay, so I've cut a panel now that is going to fit over the front. So it's the same pattern that I used to cut the panel in the front. And I've used the outer edge panel for that as well. The reason I've done this, again, is a little bit of detail. You know, we sometimes men's cards can look a little bit stayed. So always look at the detail you add on a men's on a man's card. Because sometimes I think that is where it can be a make or break. Um, Catherine says you'll miss the unboxing, but you're going away that day. But you'll watch later on. Yeah, you yeah, we'll watch it later It'll on. Still be there, Catherine. Yeah, have a safe trip, and I hope you're looking after yourself this week. Hope you're alright. There we are. Just gonna dab a little bit off because it is mirror card, and you don't want anything squelching through the front of mirror card. Okay, make sure your pattern is facing the right way, and this then just lays directly on top. A little bit further up there. There we go. And that's it. So that's not bad in place. Next little bit now. The next bit I'm going to do is your top bit here. So I've cut the back in part, the back in layer with the outer shape in yellow, in the marigold yellow again. 
and then I've cut one in grey and this is the pewter grey again it's our craft perfect um, so I've used the outer edge and I've used this little die here that says a gift for you so we're going to glue those together uh, it's, this one's a nice set as well because the, the panels are quite they're quite big and they're you know, like easy slotting. It's not a fiddly yeah. box. It's you know, not it's not, it's a, it's it's a, not fiddly. You've got nice big shapes to use and and and, put, and again, you as same with all our dies. When you look, there's, there's eighteen dies in this big set. You can use them in lots of different ways for your cards if you want to do yeah. cards with these. These aren't you know, and you've got banners sort of ones there as well, and lots of different stuff. So yeah, it's beyond the, just the box. That's just it, it does make a box. But exactly. You can use it. Well, I didn't know how much people had seen because this, this went on TV when Jodie was away. Um, so I didn't know whether people had missed out. So that was the reason I thought I would show you this today. So we're we just going to pop those together. Cathy, just tune in. What go. kind of black stock cardstock are you using? This just... is a 240 GSM cardstock. Um, it's it's actually a Vanguard card, so it's available in a lot of places, but it is a 240 weight. Our cardstock is 216, which is a little bit thin, I think, for a box, unless it's a smaller box. There you go. So the next one I've done, I've cut the pattern again into our silver chrome card. But all I want out of this is the writing. So I'm going to snip it down the sides. Just snip out a gift for you. Hi, Ulrich in, uh, in Deutschland. Hello. Everyone. Hello. Hello, wherever you are in the world today. I uh, hope you're all right. You're having a good summer or winter if you're in Australia. And uh, yeah, I hope you're... <laughs> well, if you're in Australia, I hope you look forward to the ashes. That's starting, starting tomorrow. What's you, that? You're going to be watching that? What's that? The cricket. What's that? You're not bothered, do you? No. No. Do I sound bothered? No, not really. No, I don't do cricket. I don't know one end of cricket from the other. So we need they need some sort of Australia versus Britain craft ashes, and, can, then, and then you'd be all over that. Yeah. Well, I can kind of manage football because I know it's got to go in the net, and then I can manage that. But cricket. We bring the eleven best crafters from the yeah. from the UK, right? And we get you. We we yeah, we get you in there, right? It's a little mister. <laughs> full of yeah, full of ashes, and, and we raise that, and that'll be the tour, and and that'll be, you know, who can get the title of it, like a true craft. Like. <laughs> How far can you spray your glitter? Yeah, that will be. It'll have all the events, you know. Don't worry, it'll be all events, and it, oh, it'll be televised. It'll be massive. Oh dear. Yeah, That's four days. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to do this. You can see a little bit of the the go. Um, I'm told I'm talking rubbish again today. The grey underneath, because I want that to be the shadow. So I'm just moving it up a little bit and to the left. So the grey then forms a nice little shadow underneath. There we go. And just follow it around. Make sure you wipe off any glue that you've got, because it doesn't look nice when you've got a, a glossy card. So there we go. We've got a little bit of texture but there then a little bit of contrast and i think a little bit of chrome on a man's card i think always looks nice look good have you um have you turned the kits off dan or are they still available they're still available right okay so we got um marlena says i'm having trouble with which subscription box to subscribe to because i'm on a limited budget it's between tonic and crafters companion well you, you know we're gonna say it's, it's tonic <laughs> like here right but um I think if you get a tonic box and you see the value and what you're going to get, then then you'll choose us hopefully every time. Um, but yeah, I think I think if if it's still available, because I think Dan hasn't shut them off, right? Purposely for this purpose, he yeah. didn't shut them off. Is if you go over there and you did get one this month, you there's a voucher in there. If you're in the US, it's fifteen dollars, and in the UK, it's ten pounds. So you're going to get it's almost like discounting it by well ten or fifteen dollars, depending it. So you're going to get that value. Uh, in there so try it out if, if it's up to you otherwise we're launching the brand new kit next wednesday there we go so i've got one of our um i always call it a scalpel but that's that's my my nurse inside of things it's a blade it's a craft blade so i'm going to make a little slit along the crease line just 
big enough to put some ribbon through. You don't want it any bigger. So that is there. You can see my, my nail coming through. It may be easier if I pop the blade through and you'll be able to see it. So there, you were able to see that? Yeah. yeah. I've just done it about a centimetre or about half an inch. So I'm going to thread a little bit of ribbon through here. It's just something a little bit different, a little bit different way of decorating your box. Hold on and use my scissors because the blades go straight through. Uh, Patricia said, I tune in late, which kit is this? This, isn't, this was the previous, this isn't a kit. the most recent magazine this is. Um, with the extra dies, and we're just showing them because they're on Crate and Craft. Uh, they're going to be back on at 9 p.m. now. Uh, so you'll be able to pick these up if, you, if you're interested, and this larger die will be on there. That's what we're using to make these, these cute boxes. There we go. So I've got my little trusty glue gun here, and I've got a little bit of hot glue. Just to stick this on the back. Even though this is a hot glue gun, it's not... A boiling hot glue gun because it's a battery operated so it's not going to melt the acetate be careful with your hotter glue guns though because they may well be too hot I'm just gonna knock that off a sec trim a piece of ribbon about that long and that will be enough I think so now we can put our box together I'm gonna do it with a bit of tape for this for this purpose, but I do prefer to use wet glue, but it takes a little bit longer to dry. So just along your tab, and this is a six millimeter red line tape. There yeah. we are. Yeah, I have a choice that I need some fix. I fix, I need some fix, I do. Can I just borrow that? Um, I love the kit. Yeah, loads of people. Sharon said, put your hands in if you love the tonic craft kits. Well, we, well, we do, but lots of people are. Dan's hands are well in the air. Um, um, uh, lots of people love it, and some of them have been there since the start. And that's why we wanted 24 to be, you know, you know, reward people who've been there since the start and people who just joined the journey. Um, yeah, we're so, we're so glad you enjoy them. There we are. So I'm just joining at the top. Ooh, I'm going down to the bottom. This is why I like to use um, glue. It gives me a bit of wiggle room. There we go. That's it. So inside then, I'm going to give it a little bit of a press. And we're all stuck together then. Right, how do I put it together? If you try and put the two of these panels in, you'll find it's a little bit bulky. So the back panel, just chop about a centimeter off I would say just go straight across and then fold that in so there's your panel take your side tabs on top of that and glue those in place so just a little bit of glue along there and we'll pop those in place same on the other side Oops. Get out of the way. So those two we're going to pop down. And the front one then will sit on top of those. Now the reason I do it in that order is because I don't like to see the join at the front of the box. So when I turn this over, I've got a nice fold line right at the front rather than a cut line. So that is the reason I cut from the back. So make sure that's all, all in place. I think I should have put a bit of tape on that, but we'll go with it for now. And again, the same thing with the top. I like the front one folded over the back one. So push the back down. But you could leave it like that crisp, like a crisp you could, if Yeah, you, you could leave it like that. It doesn't have to be folded at all. But the pillow box effect of it, you can tend to fold them in. The line, it's the lines that you'll enjoy, like enjoy with it. Like the bottom, like we did it. What about we did the cathedral box, and that was we did. And it had a lovely curve on there that you you wouldn't think you'd be able to get with cards, like on the for a box. I spent just a little bit more clean time. Lines, I love the clean lines. I love the way we get a nice clean deboss. 
I'll probably spend a little bit more time making sure that's all glued together properly. So the next bit now we're going to do is our little hanger for the front. So there's our little hanger. Again, all the dies are in this set to do that. We've got a couple of layering dies. So the, the top two, you've got a scallop circle, plain circle. Then you have happy birthday that will cut in. So that's a verso die. Then you've got another plain one. And then you've got with love, which is very flowery. So I'm wanting to keep this very masculine. So the ones I've used are just the plain edge ones. So I've taken out the scala, I've used the plain edge, and I've cut two of the grey, the pewter grey. I've cut one in yellow, and then I've cut in the happy birthday. So you can see it gives a very, very fine detail. Really, really pretty. So we're going to glue these together. A little bit of glue in the middle, and a teeny tiny bit around the edge. The glue I'm using again today is the Deluxe Adhesive. I'm not sure whether it's in stock or not. I kind of think it's not. I think it's come in and it's gone it's out. It's come in and, and gone. It's, it's always, but yeah, always just, if you go on the website and put um, notify me when back in stock, which is just on the product page, you enter your email, we'll let you know ASAP. I think we've got loads of people signed up for that. So that's why they just come and then. Everyone's already ready to ready to go. It's gone then, uh, isn't it, since it's in. Jasmine said, hi from Germany. I could get, uh, I got the silhouette tag from um, today from QVC. Happy that you add German phrases. Yeah, we're doing more and more in, in Germany as well um, on QVC. So you can catch us. We do probably about two hours a month maybe like on, on there, but they, they're quite short shows. So, um, yeah, there's opportunities to get tonic products over there, but you can buy direct from us as well, and we've got good shipping prices there. Uh, over to you to the uh, to Germany. So I've got a little bit of red liner tape that I'm going to put just to hold the ribbon in place, and then you can put that as low or as high as you want it. Then I'm going to glue a second circle over the top, so the ribbon is encapsulated then in the two circles. So we pop that. Make sure your happy birthday is where you want it to read. Pop them in place. And then I've got a nice little chrome circle, which I'm going to pop on a foam pad. The last bit to add now, pop that in the middle. So we're giving a little bit of depth. I mean, if you wanted to, you could put a photo of yeah, whoever this is for. Cool. That's what I think that looks good for. Um, little bow to put, go on the top. Put a birthday number as well if you were. You could. It is. You could. We've had some lovely numbers go out recently, haven't we? Me, me, mm, Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did some, yeah, some nice up numbers. And they would fit perfectly on you. Yeah. Little bow. This is grow grain ribbon. Um, I wanted a ribbon. Again, that looks like it's a man's ribbon, but I didn't want any shiny, any shiny detail with it. I just wanted a flat colour. So there's my little bow, all done and dusted. And we'll pop this in place. I'm just going to attach that to the top, just up there. Yeah, Crafty Karen says, um, when is this available? Wait, it was launched a little while ago um, when he went on TV with the magazine, this larger die, uh, this one here, the pillow box, uh, the pillow purse die set. Uh, and yeah, it's available and it's going to be on available on Crit and Craft now. It's on the website and uh, Jodie has showed off at 9pm as well. So <clears throat> it's on there for you and uh, yeah, just check the website. You'll find, find all the things you need. There we go. So there's my little, my little bow in place. You don't have to put a bow. You could just tie a little knot with a ribbon. And then my last bit for finishing off is if you've made something handmade, whether it be chocolates, whether it be a knitted pair of socks, biscuits, anything like that, pop your handmade. It's a deboss handmade on the top there. Um, write your name on it so they know that it's handmade by you. 
And even, even if it's not, your box is handmade by you. And then I'm going to pop this on the back. And that is my box complete. There we are. And that is using our pretty pillow purse die set. There you go. Awesome. So we just need two prezies now to go inside it. We do. We do. Uh, yeah, love it. Well done. Uh, awesome. Uh, lots of people are loving it and excited about about maybe getting a chance to have it again if, if you missed it the first time round because seeing this is it new it yeah it's been out for a little while but it went out with a mag the mag's on there too so if you are if you missed out on uh, on magazine number nine well it's there for you on Crate and Craft and that's at 9 p.m. today but it's on the website now so if you want to go and visit crateandcraft.com you can do and you can find it out as the lovely Alison Wheeler is bought <laughs> for you here lovely lovely projects in here lots of really pretty little pillow purses a little pillow boxes this is the pillow purse these are the pillow boxes and the pillow box die comes with the magazine so that's the one you'll have with your magazine already yeah and as i say that will fit with this as well but with the magazine there's an extra die set where have i hidden it it's part of a bundle on creating craft like this. that you get three different panels and you also get another circle. So this one says celebrate, what's it say? Celebrate good times. So that's a lovely little sentiment. Mm. And again, you've got some nice little hearts. You've got a, a nice stripe. That always reminds me of packaging they used years ago for men. It always had a stripe on. It was something across the middle. You know, like the high karate aftershave and stuff like that. Yeah. We go back a long time. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. And we've also got a lovely swirly one we celebrate as well. Brilliant. So it's a lovely little pack. Yeah, be a really nice little selection. And yeah, we do the, the card making collection. That's every quarter. So yeah, they, I think we got one of eight, some of eight going on as well. So if we did miss number eight, that's on there too. And they're awesome value. You've got loads of inspiration and you get your extra dies in there. Uh, Jasmine says, re really good service. Um, so followers wish you could add German phrases and tonic kits. We'd love to, I think. We just... Um, yeah, I'd have to ask, I'll mention that upstairs uh, and some German phrases. I think it'd be nice. But yeah, thank you everyone so much from wherever you are in the world for tuning in today. Um, check out those shows. Check out Jody at uh, 9 p.m. tonight. Um, we've got lots more coming this week and next week. We've got a super exciting week. So thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you for the daily tomorrow and then Friday for a bit of fun. See you soon, everyone. Bye-bye.